Isaiah Hawthorne, my boy Zay, USF Dons. Let him speak a little bit more on that. Thank you for joining us. Um, Zay, introduce yourself a little bit. This is who you are. Isaiah Hawthorne from Tracy, California, not too far from SF. Play basketball at University of San Francisco. I was in the castle, packing boy about the young hot yeah in the club with them guavas. This is real in the air. Last year, you know, I played, was on that court for kind of the first time. And man, like I learned a lot by myself. I applied what I learned through those three years. And I was just, just just scratching the surface for real. All right. So, Zay, we built a profile for you on our platform. We want to showcase it to you. So we'll go through your profile a little bit. Our platform now, what we've done is just built this kind of community online where we can study the players we work with, kind of centralize all the information we got on them, yeah. reports, the models, stuff like that, all the data kind of in one place. What I want to really jump to, is this in the reports? So what we did is just put some clips from your WCC play. Yeah, just to go over the season. All right, so let's see here. Roberts brings it up. Shabazz playing off the ball. Kiernan hit by Wood, play on. Shabazz brings it back out. Roberts off the pump fake. Hawthorne in the corner. Two to shoot, one to shoot. Hawthorne gets it off. So what did you see here? This is a good move. And you had a couple of different options. I'm sure, so you know, in my <laughs> job step, he, he bit on it a little bit, did a little step back. Shot clock was kind of winding down. Yeah. I did like a little hezzy, make him jump, try to get in the lane, hit him with the, try to get a good angle. Definitely could have hit Beak on a shot for like a three, but there's two seconds left. So I just can't hop the two feet and say to pull a jumper, which is I'm um, definitely very comfortable in for sure. Yeah. Talk us through here, this is a crazy size up. <laughs> Talk us through this, man. I was coming to, uh, through to the corner. Uh, Zane Pop, uh, I, I played two man game right here. Uh, he reset the screen, they switched, had a center on me. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty comfortable hitting shots like that. As I work on that. So, yeah, that's all it is. It's just, it just work for real, but. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's one clip in here. You had one that uh <laughs> it was JB move. It was a it was a JB move. I don't know, maybe it might it might be this one actually. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no, we gotta talk about this. On this I seen uh Bro was guarding me. I was feeling pretty comfortable. Bro jumped the screen pretty pretty hard and I just read it. I just I, I felt like he jumped the screen and the reject was there. Ah, uh, bro, I gotta say, bro, back. JB, bro, he sound a little blue wise, you know what I'm saying? Locked in. Shout my boy JB, though. Definitely saw this move from him. But, you know, just feel, I feel like he was late on, he was coming off the screen trying to get cover. So I just try to stop on a dime and just step back for a three ball. <laughs> that's just the Paul George. So obviously, like you said, that's one player that you model your game after. Oh, so. Um, what do you think? Like, what is what about his game? Do you try to take away, or what? What do you see? You know, as you watch his film, if you know who, like PG, P, PG, feel me? Like, not a lot of people move the way he do and do things he do, and he's a two way player, so plays hard on both ends and gets stops and steals. And um, yeah, PG is probably one of my favorite players to watch, for sure, because I feel like we're similar in a lot of different things. Let's talk about this here. But yeah, he changed direction and saw open lane going left. There's way more space on that side. So he drove that side and 
hit a tough shot off the glass. Like you stopped on the dime. Man, the corner helping a little bit. It was pretty clogged up on that side of the court. So he changed direction, stay low, and uh the big man sealed and he got a, a great open lay. Just change the pace and it just change the pace is pretty crazy. And how low he stays on the ground when he's dribbling is crazy for his size. This similar too, similar situation. So and now being off that pick and roll, that early pick and roll, that drag. Mm-hmm. Just in and out with I think in the end I'm on the back, just setting up the defender to make him go act like going right, come off that screen, open for a three ball. But I think the big was sagging crazy, he wasn't ready for the screen. So just open three balls, just reads, just one dribble pull up. Yeah. One left. Coming down a pin off a pin down. That's that same move, bro. I, that's what I mean. I, like the same moves. No, for so. sure. And punch, huh? Got to serene the floor, seeing the floor, just punch. Good pound pickup, good, great pickup into a mid range jumper. Similar to smaller defender. Not for sure. Get the two feet, pull up. And your layups for real. Grind for it. Clay aggressive defender a little bit. Stay low to the ground and then lose his balance. Stay on balance and just pull it up. Easy flip. Catch and shoot. Pin down. Reads. Kawhi cut back door. Made Clay react. Kuminga was laying on the switch. Hmm. Green. It's simple. Two dribbles, get your spot. Man, get your spot for real. Man, two dribbles, oh, yeah. three dribbles, max. That's about it. You see, right now, just want to get into um, well, one, what do you think about just kind of the use of the platform? Nah, bro, this is clutch, bro, because you know, I watch film with like my coaches and things like that after every practice and after games, but having this, I could watch. You know, when I'm just at the crib chilling with everything just lined up and all organized and, you know, yeah. I'm definitely going to use this, bro. Like, yeah, bro, I think this is a brilliant idea, bro. And I think players should definitely use this, bro, because it's definitely going to help a lot of people see the game differently, even though I feel like people watch film, but I feel like this could be another level of people watching film and just having different categories people can watch film in what you can improve your game on. So, yeah, bro. Yeah. I like so, that. Bro. Sure. Cool. Well, just to uh, – all right, so to close it out, I got some rapid-fire questions for you. So, mm -hmm. without thinking too much, just give us an answer. First one, which team are you looking forward to playing most this year? Uh, this year, I'd probably say ASU again, for sure. Good going to Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, know. they need to get back. That was sure. bad. You know, I love Phoenix, bro. And you know, I got a lot of fam out there. So, you know, it's up for so, sure. Yeah. yeah. Craziest atmosphere you've ever played in all your career? I'll probably say that like Gonzaga game at home last year. Hmm. That was crazy, bro. We had the people sitting on the floor and things like that was sold out best food spot in the city <laughs> you got all the food spots bro right, no, i swear every time no. i go to the city you put me on a new spot Hold on, baby. So what's the good, best baby. spot in the city best spot i saw some peco bro come on i saw some peco baby you know I, I hit every time bro i hit every time you know that <laughs> <laughs> favorite artist Favorite artist right now, I'll probably say Lil Bean. Shout out, bro. Show. Bro, got some hits for sure. 
Bayface Ray also or V's or something like that. Detroit rap type things. That's about it. If there's anything left you want to say on the record, right now is your chance. Oh, man, go Dons, man. Go ch- come check us out this year, man. We're going to do some big things. I'm going to leave it at that. If you're not there, I don't know where you're at, but I shout my boy Jay Brown, bro. Like, just want to inspire me. Inspire me every day. My boy got some, always got some great talks going every time I see him. You know, it's always love be locked in. You know what I'm saying? Go get your merch. You know what I'm saying? Go get your merch. But, uh, yeah, man, it's all game over, but I appreciate you having me, bro, for sure.